Ahoy hoy! When I first got started with Click Team products back in the day, I didn't know what I was doing and I just had to learn everything as I went along. Now, you guys don't have to suffer the same way, so here's five tips that are going to help you get started and make more reliable programming in your Click Team Fusion 2.5 games. Name your objects! When you're eager to get started and experimenting, it's tempting just to leave your objects named as Active and Active 2 and so on, but really, you're better off slowing things down and thinking about what you want to call things. You can rename things in a useful way that makes it easier to find them. In my game, the enemies' names all start with enemy, so they'll appear together in the list. Naming things categorizes them, and as you program bigger and bigger projects, you're going to find that more and more important. Name your variables! When you start programming something new, just the act of naming some of the variables will help you figure out how it's going to work. You can name your variables into categories based on what they're used for. Here's where I added a warm-up category for some variables used to govern the engine warm-up system in Super Space Galaxy. The name is just a convention of my own, but it's useful. Personally, I'm pretty wordy, so I'm happy to have long variable names that spell out exactly what something is. On the other hand, you might belong to the school where you want short, practical variable names, and so long as you know what you're doing, that's fine too. It was reassuring to see that Ken Williams of Sierra Software agrees with my long-named approach. All you King's Quest V fans, you know what I'm talking about. Use comments! Click Team Fusion lets you write comments in your code to note things down. To add a comment, you just right-click and select Insert and a comment. Comments can be annoying to write because they feel unnecessary at the time. After all, you already know what you're making, so you don't need to write it down, right? Really though, you should be writing these comments for your future self. As your project grows, you're never going to be able to remember what everything does. Super Space Galaxy is massive and has all sorts of stuff in there. My only regret is that I didn't write more comments than I already did. Comments also help you declare what feature you're going to make. If you can't explain to yourself what you're trying to do, your project is probably disorganized and going to fail. Use debug output. I love debug output. I use it a ton, especially when making intricate, complicated things like Super Space Galaxy's map generating system. You can use the stringizing function to write out variables as part of a string and have your loops say exactly what they're doing in plain English. One thing I like to do is have a debug mode global variable and have that on when I'm making the game. Any debug output can then trigger only when debug mode is on. Keep in mind that debug output can slow your game down, so if you're working on something that you want to run efficiently, just be aware. Create simple modules! Over the years, I've found that the best way to think of your program is as a collection of modules. Each module has a simple input and a simple output, and in between is all the complexity of getting the right output from the input. I have a separate tutorial about making a list of cards from a simple input of one variable that says how many cards you want. So if you put 50 in, it'll make a list of 50 cards. The input is your number of cards, and the output is the string that contains the eventual list of cards. So long as you know what the input is, you know what the output is, and the programming is reliable. So this way you have bubbles of complexity, but simplicity in and simplicity out. If you don't follow this method, you'll probably find that as your project gets bigger, it's harder and harder to understand how things work, and you just have a lot of spaghetti code that's very difficult to change. Build yourself a set of reliable modules, and you'll save yourself the regret later. Do you have a game you've always wanted to make, but don't know how to get started? My coaching program is designed to help you finish your first game in Click Team Fusion 2.5. Click the link in the description to learn more, and let's get you on the path to being the game developer you've always wanted to be.